Now, I am not saying you cannot destroy. I'm not saying you cannot destroy men's lives, but it will not be in the name of Jesus. I'm not saying you cannot cause people. You can cause, but the name of Jesus will not be involved. So when you hear a man of God say, I curse you, know that that cause does not have the backing of Jesus' name. Is it clear? Yeah. I'm not saying you cannot cause, but when you cause, number one, you are not like your father. Number two, the name of Jesus is not behind that cause. So now the question is, when you cause and it happens, who answered that prayer? Huh? Satan? Yes. Spirit, you know not what manner of spirit you are of. That means there are spirits that attend to different prayers. That means when you cause people, there are spirits waiting. You're not following me. Remember, shall we call fire? To come down from heaven and consume them. Jesus didn't say you cannot call fire. <laughs> he only said to them, the spirit inside you is not that type of spirit. That means you can call fire down. But know that it is not the spirit of God. That means you can cause and it will happen. But know that it was not God that answered that prayer. Because the spirit of God... And the name of Jesus will glorify Jesus. And Jesus said, the son of man is not come to destroy lives. If you understand this, I hear you. I mean, it's, it's very clear. And I, I know why I'm taking time to stay here because there are a lot of things going on around you in the country, all over the place. And there are a lot of these vengeance prayers and a lot of these judgmental men of God all over the place. And you need to be doctrinally established in the truth so that you can walk in the truth. So that nobody can bring all kinds of confusion around you and mess around with you. Romans 12, 14. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Bless huh? and curse not. 12, 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing... Thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Next verse. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Overcome what? That means there is more power in good that overcomes evil. That means no matter how evil a situation, when you start giving good, your good nature will defeat evil. There is power in good. To defeat evil. Didn't he say when a man's ways please God. He make it even his enemies to be at peace. That's the gospel you are hearing here. Do not cause. I mean emphatically read it. Do not cause. I know sometimes people do things to you that gets on your nerves. And you, you feel like. But reckon yourselves. Reckon yourselves dead and alive to God. Mortify your members which are upon the earth. So you cannot pray in the name of Jesus and cause. Even if it's a witch, you cannot cause a witch in the name of Jesus. Because the will of God for that witch is to be saved. Not willing that any soul should perish. Does that witch have a soul? Uh, so it is not the will of God. But that all should come to repentance. Why? The long suffering of God is repentance. Why is God delaying? He wants men to repent. Men like that, those witches, God wants them in heaven. Why? Jesus died for them. As much as he died for you. Same price. Same price. Praise the Lord. I say same price. He paid the same price. Look at Ephesians chapter 4 verse 31. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be kind one to another. Tender hearted. Forgiving one another. Even as God for Christ's sake had forgiven you. He didn't forgive you because you could pray well. He didn't forgive you because when you pray you were crying. He didn't forgive you because you confess all your sins. He forgave you for Christ's sake. He looked at Christ and you were forgiven. God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. The same way God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. Be the children of your father. You too for Christ's sake forgive them. Let them go. For Christ's sake forgive them. Glory to God. For Christ's sake, be tender hearted. Don't be tough. Don't be too hard. Be tender hearted. Put away bitterness and wrath. Evil speaking, clamor, strife. Put them away. Look, you cannot have bought these things and manifest your sonship in Christ. No, you can't. They won't let you. They won't let you manifest your sonship. That's why I say put them away. Put all malice. Put in somebody's name in a bottle and pour oil inside. 
I'm a jack in the bottle like that. It's an occultic practice. It's not a scriptural practice. Or you tell the person, look, if you try me, I will naked myself and stand before God. It's an occultic practice. It has no relevance. Don't let people intimidate you with those things. Did you hear what I'm saying? Those are things they do in native doctor's houses. I will just naked myself. I will hit the ground and stand up. And you will see, you will run mad. All those are occultic practices. They are fetish things. As believers, we don't operate in that spirit. We operate in the spirit of God, which is pure.